IPEM International School students. I welcome you all to the I Learn English Literature class. I am Suchita Singh and today I will take up the 8th chapter of your English Literature book, The Tale of Peter Rabbit by Helen Beatrix Potter. It is given on page number 61. So students, let's get started with the chapter. The Tale of Peter Rabbit is a British children's book written and illustrated by Helen Beatrix Potter from 1866 to 1943, more than a hundred years ago. It was originally a picture letter written to her friend's son who was sick. So children, Helen Beatrix Potter was an English writer, best known for her children's book featuring animals, such as those in the tale of Peter Rabbit. Let us read the story of Peter, a mischievous and disobedient little rabbit. So children, this is an imaginary story of Peter Rabbit. He was very mischievous. What is mischievous? Mischievous means naughty or badly behaved. He was very mischievous and disobedient. Children, this is an imaginary story. Okay, so you will see the characters of the story wearing clothes. like we human beings do, though they are animals. And that is why we will use he or she pronoun for them, not it. Okay, now let's read our story. I hope you all are having pencils in your hands, so you will keep on underlining, alright? Once upon a time, there were four little rabbits whose names Flopsy, Mopsy, Cottontail and Peter. So we have four little rabbits in this story. Flopsy, Mopsy, Cottontail and Peter. Now let's move forward. They lived with their mother in a sand hill. Underneath the root of a very big fir tree. Children, you can see the red words given throughout the chapter. So you will find their meanings on page number 64. And I have circled the difficult words also for you. So please keep on circling them as you come across them. Alright? Now, so they lived with their mother in a sandbank. What is a sandbank? Sandbank is a large pile of sand. So they lived in the sandbank underneath the root of a very big fir tree. What is a fir tree? Fir tree is a tree with needle like leaves. So the leaves of the fir tree is needle like. Okay. So they lived in a sandbank underneath, under the fir tree. Why underneath? Underneath because they live in burrow. You, we all know that that rabbits live in burrows. So they lived underneath the root of a very big fir tree. Now, my dears, said old Mrs. Rabbit one morning, I am going out. You may go into the fields or down the lane. But don't go into Mr. McGregor's garden. Now run along and don't get into mischief. Now Mrs. Rabbit had to go out. So she asked her bunnies that you can go to the fields or down the lane. You can go to the fields or down the lane to play. But don't go into Mr. McGregor's garden. So 
children. Now we can see two more characters have been added. Mrs. Rabbit and Mr. McGregor. He owned a garden. So Mrs. Rabbit asked all the four bunnies not to go into Mr. McGregor's garden. Now she said, run along and don't get into mischief. What is the meaning of mischief children? Mischief means to playfully trouble someone. Alright, a very uh, playful misbehavior is known as mischief. Like you must have seen small children, they get into mischief, isn't it? So that is mischief. Now, Flopsy, Mopsy and Cottontail, who were good little bunnies, went to gather blackberries. But Peter, who was very naughty, ran straight to Mr. McGregor's garden. He squeezed in from under the gate. Now, as you can see, Flopsy, Mopsy and Cottontail, who were good little bunnies, they were very well behaved and they were very obedient. They listened to their mother and they did not go anywhere else. They went to gather blackberries. They went to collect. What is the meaning of gather? To collect. And blackberries? Blackberries, it is a type of fruit. A small black fruit that grow on bushes with thorns. Okay, so they went to gather, they went to collect blackberries. But Peter, who was very naughty, he ran straight to Mr. McGregor's garden. He did not listen to his mother. Okay, so he went to Mr. McGregor's garden. He squeezed in from under the gate. What is the meaning of squeeze, children? Got through a narrow space. He squeezed his body, okay, and he tried to fit himself under the gate to enter the garden. So he got, he somehow managed to got through that narrow space under the gate and he entered the garden. Now let's see what happens next. First he ate some lettuce and some beans and then he ate some radishes. Then feeling rather sick, he went to look for some parsley but ran into Mr. McGregor instead. Now what happened children? First he ate some lettuce. What is lettuce? Lettuce is a plant with green leaves that can be eaten raw. You must have eaten lettuce in salads. So he went, first he ate, as he went in the garden, first he ate some lettuce. Then he had some beans. And after that, he ate some radishes. So Peter was having a very good time. He was enjoying himself completely in the garden. So. He came across lettuce, so he had lettuce first, then he saw beans, so he ate beans, and then after beans, he ate radishes. So he kept on eating as he was enjoying. Then, feeling rather sick, after having so many things, he started to feel sick. So he went to look for some parsley. What is a parsley? Parsley is a plant. It is a kind of herb. Okay, So he wanted to have some parsley to feel better. So he was searching for parsley but instead of parsley he ran into Mr. McGregor. He accidentally met Mr. McGregor and he got scared. Okay, now let's see what happens next. Mr. McGregor was on his hands and knees planting cabbages. But he jumped up and ran after Peter 
calling out, Stop thief! Now, Mr. McGregor was on his hands and knees. He was sitting on a posture with his hand, with his knees bent and with his hands on the floor. He was planting cabbages. But suddenly, he saw Peter and he jumped up and started to run after Peter and he called him out, Stop thief! Stop! Stop! He wanted to catch Peter. Peter was most dreadfully frightened. He ran all over the garden for he had forgotten the way back to the gate. He lost one of his shoes among the cabbages and the other shoe amongst the potatoes. Now what happened children? As Mr. McGregor was running after Peter and he was calling him stop 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 thief. By, by which name was he calling Peter? He was calling him thief because Peter was eating from his garden. Okay, though he was not allowed to enter the garden. So, Peter was most dreadfully. What is the meaning of dreadfully, children? Dreadfully means badly. He was badly scared, afraid. Frightened means scared or afraid. So, he was badly scared. He ran all over the garden. He was running in the garden. But he could not find the gate to go outside. So, he was running to find out the gate. And in that confusion, in that chaos, he lost one of his shoes among the, the cabbages. So, among the cabbages, he lost one shoe. And the other shoe he lost among the potatoes. It was a very bad time for Peter. Okay, there. Unfortunately, his blue jacket got caught in a gooseberry net. Unfortunately, sadly, his blue jacket, as you can see in this picture, Peter is wearing a blue jacket, isn't it? Yes. And unfortunately, that blue jacket that Peter was wearing, it got caught in a gooseberry net. What is a gooseberry net, children? It is a net which is put around a gooseberry plant, a gooseberry bush to stop from growing too big. Sometimes uh, some plants have the tendency to grow very big. So, to keep it intact from uh, growing too big, one net is covered uh, across the gooseberry plant so that it should not grow more than requirement. Okay. So, Peter's blue jacket got caught in a gooseberry net. Now, Mr. McGregor came up with a sieve which he wanted to pop upon the top of Peter. But Peter escaped just in time, leaving behind his jacket. Now what happened? Mr. McGregor came with a sieve. What is a sieve? It is a kind of a net in a circular frame. So he was holding a sieve and he wanted to pop upon the top of Peter. To pop means to put. So he wanted to put the sieve on top of Peter so that he can capture, he can get the hold of Peter. But Peter escaped. He broke free. He ran away just in time. Just as Mr. McGregor came near Peter, he escaped. He broke free. He ran away, leaving behind his jacket. He left his jacket, which, which was stuck in the gooseberry net. He left his jacket and he ran very fast. Okay. He rushed into the tool shed and jumped into a can. It would have been a beautiful thing to hide it, had it not had so much of water in it. Now, Peter was very restless. 
He did not know where to go. He could not find the gate. So he rushed into the tool shed. What is a tool shed, children? Tool shed is a small room where gardening tools are kept. As you can see, Mr. McGregor has a farm. So he has many gardening tools. So he had made a tool shed, a separate room uh, for the tools to be kept safely. All right. So Peter saw a tool shed and he rushed into it. He ran straight into the tool shed and jumped into a can. There were many cans kept there and he jumped into the can. That can would have been a beautiful thing to hide in. It was a appropriate place to hide in. But uh, it was filled with, that can was filled with water. So he could not breathe. Otherwise, that can was a very nice place to hide in. Mr. McGregor was quite sure that Peter was somewhere in the tool shed, perhaps hidden underneath a flat foot. He began to turn them over, one by one. Just then, Curtishu sneezed Peter and Mr. McGregor was after him in no time. But Peter jumped out of a window. Now what happened? Peter was hiding in, in the can. Then Mr. McGregor chased him and he also came in the tool shed. He was quite sure that Peter is somewhere here in the tool shed. He thought that perhaps that maybe he is underneath the flower pot. That Peter is hiding underneath the flower pot. He began to turn them over. He started to turn all the things over one by one. Just then, one sound came of sneeze. Cartishu! This is the way Peter sneezed. Cartishu is the sound that Peter made while sneezing. So, and Mr. McGregor heard him sneezing. And he was after him in no time. As soon as he heard the voice of Peter sneezing, he again started to chase him. But Peter jumped out of a window. Peter somehow found a window. He saw a window and he quickly jumped out of the window. The window was too small for Mr. McGregor. And he was tired of running after Peter. So he went back to his work. Peter did not stop running or looking behind him till he got home. He was so tired that he flopped down upon the nice soft sand on the floor of the rabbit hole and shut his eyes. Now, Peter somehow managed to escape that tool shed. But Mr. McGregor was quite tall and the window was too small for Mr. McGregor to fit in. And as it is, he was very tired of running after Peter. So he gave up and he went back to his work. He went back to planting cabbages. And Peter did not stop running. He kept on running and was looking behind every time. Why? To check whether Mr. McGregor is still following him or not. Till he got home. Finally, he reached home. And he was very tired. That he flopped down upon the nice soft sand. What is the meaning of flop down children? Flop down means to fell down with a loud sound. Peter was not very well during the evening. His mother wondered what he had done with his clothes. She was thinking, what has he done with his clothes? Why is he not feeling well? Why his clothes are dirty? All the other bunnies, they are looking fine. 
they are looking normal but what has happened to peter but now peter was relaxed he was relieved to get home so he did not bother about anything and he just shut his eyes and he went to sleep okay children with this we have come to the end of our story the tale of peter rabbit okay so as you can see here word meanings are given on page number 64 you have to learn the word meanings along with all the difficult words that i have circled for you okay you will learn the spellings and please see the external videos also that i have shared and complete the exercises okay thank you